But we're back at Real Fuss. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There's the movement. Boom. Woo, baby. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, folks, you won't believe this, but we're back at Real Foot. Fishing with my buddy Ryan Dooley. We got together, we started talking about where we want to fish, and he wanted to go to Real Foot. I said, well, let's do it. So we're on a different part of the lake this time. He's fished it a lot more than I have. There you go, Ryan. How you doing, Matt? That's my man, Ryan Dooley. So me and Ryan met at the, I guess it was at the Alabama River. Alabama National Championship. Yep. Yeah, the Alabama River. We were fishing together on the same cove and got to talking. And before you know it, we're buddies, we're talking, we're texting, and now we're fishing. We're on real for it, so. Well, we got an 18 foot sea arc here. It's a 186 stealth and it's a, it's a good old boat. It's just for out here real foot on all these stumps. Uh, it'll handle it just fine. I'm just glad I got a Ryan in the boat. He's gonna be able to point us in the right direction. Anyway, that's an awesome boat, dude. I, like I don't it. think there's many stumps here. Check that out folks. That is just beautiful. We've got a, a nice solid fog rolling in. Uh, calm water. It's gonna get pretty hot today, is it not, Ryan? It, it is. Yep. Heat index of 105, I think. So we're just out here having fun. I think we're gonna it's gonna be a warm day, calm water, vertical jigging. Looks like he's got a, a 12 inch unit. Is that a 12, 12, 12 22? So uh, if we can get into the live uh, active captain, we'll try to do that as well. But at the end of the day, this is gonna be vertical structuring on real foot in Tennessee. Check it out. Somebody corrected me once before. They said, you're not in the Midwest, you're in the South. <laughs> and so uh, we're in the South, folks. Yeah, it's a beautiful lake, so. All right, folks, we are uh, just about to get started. I'm going to be fishing with the 14 foot Ozark rod right there. And you've got a new H&H &H rod. What you got there? Yeah, this is the uh, F&M War Pig. We got two new rods in the boat, so uh, probably perfect for real foot. <laughs> First fish of the day. White. Good fish. So I'm using a little wedge head, number four hook. That's a good fish. A little white crappie. You're down there pretty deep, about 10 feet. So if you guys remember the last episode I did in Real Foot, um, I was with Elliot Tomlinson uh, from Wicked Coots Guide Service. Totally recommend them. Give him a shout. Ryan is not a guide. He made that very clear before we went out on the boat today. If you remember that episode, we had talked about doing a little coot jig. That's the same jig I was using last time I was on this water. I tried some other baits and haven't been successful, so I've gone back to it. There it is. Boy, I just jumped it in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little coot. Beautiful fish here on Real Foot. That's a nice fish. So folks, most people say that the fishing in summer is bad. Let me tell you, it's consistent fishing, but you do have to withstand the heat. And on this day, like you heard Ryan say earlier, we've got a heat index of 105. So it's smoking hot, but we're gonna put some big fish in the boat for you. We're enjoying it. We're on Real Foot, doesn't get much better. Yes, he did. There he goes. There you go. Good fish. Good fish right here. Probably best of the day. Gonna be about equal. Close. Good fish nonetheless. Rough fun. Real foot. It is a calm, getting hot day. Right there is a good mark. There it is. There's the movement. Boom! Biggest one of the day. Good fish. There you go. Wow, good fish. Look at 
fish. I don't know if it was the same one, but there was one down there and I went for it. There's, there's another one right there. This is my favorite size to eat right here. There you go. There it is. Totally intrigued him. Totally intrigued him. <laughs> yeah. Right. You got to knock these guys in the nose. Reminds me of Darbone for sure. So we're having a blast on real foot. If you look right here in the background, you're going to see this little fan. Let me tell you, that fan was fantastic. As hot as it was, I'm going to be putting one of these in my boat. And I'm going to go through the details on it here shortly in the video. But before I do that, let me just tell you a lot of things going on with three pound fishing. We're going to have new sponsors in 2022 and the tackle, the hair jigs are taking off folks. So check it out at threepoundfishing.com. <laughs> You got the crappie? I got the crappie. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, I want to remind you that we are still selling uh, three pound fish and tackle hair jigs. Hair jigs. This is a, uh, this is kind of a, this is still the little coot. We don't have the little coot on the website yet. But if you'd like the little coot with a pink head, you can message me and I'll hook you up with that one, but it's not on the website yet. But you can check out all the hair jigs at uh, threepoundfishing.com. We're getting professional too, by the way. We got packaging. Let me show you the packaging. Legitimate packaging for three pound fishing baits. That's just an example of it. But uh, yeah, there you go. There I go. <laughs> oh, I sure look bigger Damn. than that. Oh, he, sure, he sure did. Gosh dang it. That was a lot of fun though. That was a lot of drops to get this guy to bite, commit. That'd be perfect. Gosh, dang. That's what you gotta do though, man. It's amazing about crappie fishing. Some days are like you could get it within four four feet of a fish and then today, truly, you gotta get it on their nose. I mean, they ain't running for it. Although I do think that the plastics have an advantage today. I just think that the fall rate is slower. And because they want it so slow and because they want it so particular, I think, although little coot just put a fish in the boat, it is absolutely still out here, folks. Let me just show you. I mean, nothing i mean really now i have switched over to the 10 footer just because i feel like since it's such a light bike i can set the hook a lot faster we seem to not have a problem getting on top of the fish whatsoever uh it's just getting it in a bite and it's a quick quick bite but here's the 14 footer three piece check it out at ozarkrod.com here's that milwaukee check it out we need to be selling those look at this folks good fish right here hopefully you guys can see that there it is good mark right there there he is here he comes. Yes. There it is. Or tart this fish, man. Anytime you, you're dropping, gosh dang, we dropped probably 10, 12 times on it. It's not a big fish, but it marked really well. And it's just fun winning the battle. Yeah, <laughs> huh. All right, there's another one. Gonna have to build on that one for sure, but check this out, folks. Go ahead, Ryan. The uh, Ryan has got a fan in his boat. This is, the, this is the first time I've seen a fan in a boat, and I gotta say, I'm impressed, and uh, three pound fishing will definitely be getting one. I'm just saying, that's pretty nice. How much does something like that set you back? I think it was under 100 bucks. Really? Mm-hmm. Battery probably not included. Yeah, well, that's pretty nice, I gotta admit. It's a hot day and to have a nice cool breeze in your back. Yeah, he just sold one of them. Boom, there he is. I was gonna say. <laughs> it took a while, but got him. Good fish. A little sore on his side from laying up against that tree probably. I'm gonna change baits. Hey, for those that have stayed this long in the episode, don't forget to check out uh, Wicked Coots Guide Service, Elliot Tomlinson. Awesome dude. I'll uh, put his information up here, so check him out here on Real Foot. Good guy. Got it. Big in. I got it. Don't worry. 
All right, folks. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Awesome time, man. I had a good time. Good fish, real foot. Woo, baby. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.